Join me for part two of this four-part series on the five tips to beat stress by practicing mindfulness. Because of the pandemic lockdown in Trinidad and Tobago, I'm taking a short break from my usual beauty tips to focus on health and wellness. In this episode, I'll be talking about how you can be more mindful of the joys in your life. So get comfy as I share another one of the five tips that you can implement in your life right now. Mindfulness encompasses two key components, awareness and acceptance. Awareness is the knowledge and ability to focus your attention on your internal processes and experiences, like the experience of the present moment. Acceptance, on the other hand, is the ability to observe and accept rather than judge or avoid that flow of thought. When you live mindfully, you're living in the moment and reawakening yourself to the present rather than dwelling on the past or anticipating the future. You're observing and identifying your thoughts, feelings, sensations in your body through another perspective. Now its role in managing stress is being able to use this tool to avoid self-criticism and judgment while identifying and managing difficult emotions. In my last episode, I shared two tips with you and those were meditation and changing your meal experience. If you missed that episode, there's a link for it in the description box. In this episode, I'm going to share tip number three with you. Look, I get it. During a pandemic, it's hard to think of anything that might be positive and bright because right now the future looks so gloomy. But I'm not talking about world peace or anything of that magnitude. I'm saying to you that no matter what is going on in your life right now, you have things that bring joy and happiness. You just need to be open to seeing them. We all have the capability to train and develop joy in our lives. It's an inherent attitude within your mind that embraces happiness within your heart, forgiveness and tenderness that allows for appreciation, contentment and gratitude on a whole new level. In the same way your heart can feel overwhelmed when it's faced with suffering, it can feel overwhelmed by happiness and beauty also. When you tap into this depth of joy, you can experience contentment, wonder, radiant pride, gratitude and delight in a way that changes what you perceived happiness and joy to be. It would be unrealistic if we didn't acknowledge that our minds are often preoccupied with other thoughts that stare us into feelings of a different kind, like irritation or not having any personal space during the pandemic lockdown. Feeling sad after learning a friend's of a friend's illness or anxiety when someone you love has lost their job. And then there are more general thoughts that pull our attention, like uncertainty about the future, the effect it's having on your kids, global crises. Practicing mindfulness has a lot to do with learning how to relate to these jolting moments with calmness. By nature, human beings tend to be more dejected than uplifted in spirit. And that's even without a pandemic upon us. Your brain registers negative experiences more strongly than positive ones because it's a deep-seated survival skill like our ancestors had. But you might be surprised that with practice, you can experience more bursts of joyous moments like being ecstatic when that pesky cupboard door opens without having to fiddle with it, or someone actually puts the cap back on the toothpaste. Don't wait for those picture-perfect moments to happen for you to feel a burst of joy or the skip of a heartbeat. Those moments are more than welcome, but so too are the quiet, happy moments that arrive when we're present for them. Here are a few ways that you can promote joy in your daily life with a little practice and some mindfulness perspectives. When we wait for the big events like birthdays, weddings, or milestones to truly feel joy, We dismiss the small things that happen around us all the time. Finding the joy in your daily routine allows you to begin to see the beauty of your life through new eyes. The more we attend to joy in the ordinary moments of our lives, the more we experience it and the more joyous we become. It can take your brain a few seconds to register that something good is happening. Slowing down lets your heart, mind and body savor that moment. Linger over the beauty of a vibrant flower in bloom or the the delicious taste of a fruit, or the feel of the breeze against your skin. Sometimes finding the joy is as simple as noticing what's not wrong. The washing machine isn't making that awful noise. 
You don't have to bang the TV remote for it to work today, or you're finally getting on top of your workload. While these experiences might not thrill us, paying attention to them encourages an appreciation and gratitude for all that's still right in the world. In essence, be mindful of that fleeting moment when your heart skipped a beat at the thought of something or someone. We see social media posts all day about being grateful for life, a roof over your head, food on the table, a job, and I could go on and on, but I think you get the point. Allow yourself to focus on those positive thoughts, even if for just a few minutes, and each day, increase the time you spend thinking about them until you train yourself to think positively even in the face of adversity. Embrace that positive mental state. In part three of this episode, I'll be talking to you about naming your emotions and freeing yourself from the stress and anxiety associated with unresolved emotions. So stay tuned for that one. And that's your one minute health tip. Send me your questions or comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you found this information helpful, please share it with someone else who you think might benefit from it. All the links to everything mentioned in this video, including the link to part one of this episode, can be found in the description box below. And for more health and beauty tips, keep watching.